Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss a number theory problem involving remainders. The question is what is the remainder when 1999 raised power 2000 e divided by 5. So here we will use two methods. The first method, let us discuss the first method. In this method we will use modulo. Now in modulo you will be knowing the notation is a congruent to b modulo c. This means that b is my remainder when a is divided by c. Now the good thing over here is that we can raise it to a big power, let's say a raised power n, then I can raise my remainder to the same power. And this is the property that we use while solving such questions where we have large powers. Now think over this, what would be my ideal b here? if I want to raise it to a big power. So let's say we have a power as big as 2000, which we want here, right? So what should be my b here that we don't need to calculate this. So obviously either my b has to be 1 or minus 1, right? Because in these two cases only we know we can solve this very fast. So any power I'm going to raise, any big power of 1, it is always going to give me 1, right? and same for minus 1 the only thing here is that parity comes in so if your power is even then you are going to get 1 and if your power is odd then you are going to get minus 1 so that's why in such questions your first strategy or you can say your first objective should be that you find such a power of your a that you are going to get a b of either 1 or minus 1 so let's apply this so we have 1999 raised power 2000 and you have to divide it by 5. So 1999 congruent to mod 5. Now what would be my remainder here? If you divide by 5, then this would give you 4, right? Now if you know the concept of negative remainder, then I can write this as minus 1. I will subtract 5 minus 4 then this would give me minus 1. Now my first objective is achieved. I have got a remainder here which is minus 1. Now I can raise it to as much big power as we want right. So we want to raise it to 2000. So if I raise it to 2000 then I can raise this also to 2000. So from here can I say that this is even power. So can I say that this would give, become 1. So this means that our answer is 1. So this big number gives you a remainder of 1 when you divide by 5. So your answer is 1. Now this was the first method. Now let's check the second method. In method 2 we will use a property when you divide by 5. So let's say, let's say I take here some numbers 71, 191, 3, 7, 5, 6, 1. Now in all such cases when you divide by 5, note down your remainders here. When I divide by 5, what would be my remainder? 1, right? Again you divide by 5, again you are going to get a remainder of 1, again you are going to get a remainder of 1. Now let us take a few other numbers. Let's say I take 2, 7. Let's say I take 1, 7, 9, 7. 2, 9, 3, 5, 6, 7. Now again divide by 5, then you are going to get a remainder of 2. You are again going to get a remainder of 2. Again you are going to get a remainder of 2. So the thing to notice over here is that when you have unit digit as same, then you are going to get a remainder of same. You are going to get a same remainder when you divide by 5. Here all the places were same and unit plus digit. So again I got same remainder. I am not worried, I am not concerned with what remainder I am getting. We don't have to focus on that. We don't really care what remainder I am getting. The property over here is that when you divide two numbers by five and if they have same unit digit, then you are going to get same remainder. That is the property. Right? Uh, let me write this. When you divide two 
numbers by 5 same unit digit same unit digit this would imply that same remainder and this is a big property this will help us here now the question is 199 power 2000 right now we don't want to solve this so the property here we note that if I have same unit digit then I'm going to get same remainder so let's say if I know the unit digit of this one so can I take a smaller number with the same unit digit same unit digit right so what I'm doing is I am converting my problem to a very smaller problem once I figure out what what is the unit digit of this big number then I can take any smaller number with the same unit digit and I can simply know my remainder that would be a very cakewalk right so let's figure out the unit digit of this big number now for unit digit we don't need to consider this thing. so we are only concerned with 9 raised power 2000 now here we can use cyclicity approach so let's say 9 raised power 1 will give you 9 9 raised power 2 will give you 1 9 raised power 3 is going to give you 9 9 raised power 4 is going to give you 1 and so on so these are my unit digits now you, you would have noticed the pattern 9 1 9 1 these are going to be repeated so you get unit digit as 9 when your power is odd you get unit digit as 1 when your power is even so here my power is even so I am going to get my unit digit at 1 now I can take any number any number which has unit digit as 1 and I divide by 5 I am going to get my answer we are not even concerned with this now once I know my unit digit we can completely forget this so take any number a smaller number let's say we take 11 we divide by 5 we are going to get a remainder of 1 so our answer is 1 so this was a very beautiful strategy for such questions but please remember that this strategy works for 5 only okay? don't apply for any another number so I hope you understood both the methods if you have any doubt you can always put it in comment section also if you know any better method then you can always put it in comment section we can have a discussion there it will be a good learning experience for all also you can subscribe to our channel we upload three to four videos on math olympiad daily so thank you